Hello, everyone. What is the result of this operation? That's the question being asked. So how do we solve these kinds of questions? We use the rule here. Guys, what do we mean by this? Look, pay attention. There are two nested roots, and if there's a two in front of the inner radical, we use this rule. Are we clear? Now, I'm going to take one of these and let's solve it in a comfortable space. Together, we said square root of 15, then I took the root again. Now, we're going to factor this 15. I'm going to multiply it by two numbers in such a way that their product is 15, and when I add them, I get 8. Now, if we say 15 and 1, multiplying 15 by 1 gives us 15. If I add them, I get 16, which doesn't give me 8. So, the most suitable numbers will be 5 and 3. Guys, I think we're good up to this point. Now, here's what we're going to do. We've factored it, right? Starting from the largest number, you write them inside the root. Root 5. Here, our operation is subtraction. I wrote square root of 3. You guys are awesome. Isn't this the same thing, guys? Yes, so it's the product of 5 and 3. So look, here in this operation, we have addition. I'm writing this. Here, what am I doing again? I started from the largest number. Square root of 5? I see that the operation inside is addition. I wrote that down, and I'm saying square root of 3. That's it. The question is already finished. Negative root 3 and positive root 3 cancel each other out. There are two square roots of 5 here, guys. So our answer will be 2 root 5. 